Hi, in previous video I showed you how to install the server software and in this video I will show you how to configure it. So let's let's go into the browser and let's connect on our installed server. Port 777 and HTTPS. Okay, proceed. So first time you install the system, the username is admin and password is admin. The login. First, first thing which we will do is to change this password. So we go on settings and we provide new password. So all the one was admin. The new one will be something secret. Okay, so here's a couple of things in the menu. So we will start with organization. So it's not general bytes, it's my company LTD. Let's say that we are in the Czech Republic. Address something, city something, zip something, email my email phone phone number something okay so we have the company now now let's edit the persons so we have admin admin is last name is Karel Kiyovsky First name Karel, last name Kievsky, contact address seven Czech Republic zip contact phone something email Carol at gmail.com of course you will you will fill in your your uh, your data so users I can see that username is admin role is administrator and it's tied to the, my person which I just uh, which I just filled in so next thing is to create location where the terminal will be located so name of the location will be my super shop for instance some address some city somewhere let's say netherlands zip file something description like ATM is located in second room. Yeah, organization company submit. So then we have to set up notification policies. So let's create first policy. Uh, basic. So now we will add our first rules. So if transaction succeeds, it's gonna send email to to let's say me. Okay, I'll add another rule. If transaction doesn't succeed. It will send email to, let's say, also to me. You can set another rule, like, for instance, if the exchange or cash the cash high is, let's say, mm, one thousand euro. If it's higher than one thousand euro, it's gonna send me an email. 
I think that's that's enough. So I have this basic policy, which has these rules. So before creating terminal, we will need some couple of uh, couple of data. So first we need uh, to create external hot wallet, and we need to obtain API key from Bitstamp. So first we will go and create uh, create a wallet on blockchain info. So I'll put my email there. Okay, this password I'll I'll use lately later on. Okay, so this this you should somehow back up in order you will if you forget the password this is the way how you can obtain how you can restore the private keys from the wallet. So I'll just uh, somehow back up it back it up here. Okay, so continue. So this is my identifier. Which I will, which I will put here, just for, uh, just for noting that, and password I set one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Yeah, probably you should use something stronger than I do. So now, now we should create access uh, API access for Bitstamp. I already have here one, but let's create a new one. So first, you have to click on the account, then security. And API access, you will get to this menu. Let's create new API key. Filtering on IP address, you can put there your public IP address. I will leave it for demo. I will I will uh, leave it empty. So you will need account balance, open orders, buy limit, withdrawal request, Bitcoin deposit. Not right now. Bitcoin withdrawal. Sell limit order, cancel order, that's it. Yeah, should be enough. Probably I will add also this one. Okay, so now I click on generate key. So it, and it's created this one, so I'll just put down this API key here. Secret here. So now, now I I have to click on the activate button. So now it's gonna send me an email, and I have to can confirm that. So let's say I will do that later. So let's jump back to the to the administration. So I'll click on uh, terminals. Add terminal. I'll set serial number of the terminal which I received. Let's see this one. Next thing uh, which is needed is shared secret which you receive by email from me. Administration key is a hash of the data in the QR code that you use for administrating the ATM on the on site, so I'll put the hash there. I want the terminal to be active. Notification policy this one. Cash currency I'll use USD. Cryptocurrency BTC. Default language will be for me it's gonna be English. This is the language in which are which are errors displayed on the on the display of the ATM, so it should be the same language as your staff speaks. So other languages, I'll add of course English, Spanish, German, Italiano, Netherlands, Polish. So I could add here more, but ATM displays cur current version of the ATM displays only six languages. So I'll stay with six. 
so now I have to I have to uh, set up the hot wallet so it's gonna be external one and we will use the blockchain so it should be blockchain GUID password so I'll put blockchain no identifier hash password okay I'll copy paste that here so now exchange settings so exchange strategy means that what do you want to do do you want to s just sell bitcoins from your hot wallet and don't buy them on the on the exchange so if you want to do that you select this send directly if you want to buy them on the on the bitcoin exchange and then send send them to the client you you choose send to hot wallet with fallback so now i should fill in the exchange login so it's bitstem customer id api key secret key which you just saw so let's say so it's gonna be bitstem customer id dash api key dash secret key Okay, so now put it there. Exchange profit, this is the percentage, this is your margin basically. So it's server takes the exchange rate from the bit stamp and adds adds uh, this margin to it. So right now we will set up five percent. Here another set other settings, so the support phone. So this is the phone when some error error happens. This is the phone which cust end customer will see on the ATM. So it's let's put there like plus four two zeros five seven two three two three. This is our super phone registration delay. This is the string that is displayed to the customer. How many how many minutes does it take to register? So I uh, only fifteen. This these are these are the settings. These are the the strings that ATM uses to to navigate the user how to install the wallet. So this is the settings for Android. This is the settings for iPhone, and these are the settings for Windows Phone. Because this these wallets change over the time. So here you have here you have way how to change this URLs, which on the ATM change uh, to the uh, to the QR code that customer can read by his phone so this is the location where where the ATM is right now from when let's say from today to when not yet this helps you to keep track from which time to from which day to which day this ATM was located here and there uh, based on that, you can you can share the revenue with the with the pub owner or something. And here you can set up the uh, cash limit. So this is the cash. These are the cash limits for the anonymous uh, customers. These are for these are for unregistered, but which use the fingerprint. And these are for the customers which use the fingerprint and registered th through ATM using the ID card scan and here you can enable and disable AML check so for now let's say I will put just this is this is the limit on on transaction this is on whole machine all the transactions per hour per day and per month so let's fill in hundred thousand ten thousand I don't know, like this. I have to fill in, fill, fill it everywhere. 
this depends on you and on, on your feeling how you want to set it up I just have here some demo values uh, depends also on the regulation on the legislation which you have in your country for some for some uh, transaction volumes you will you will want uh, customers to, to register or for some you for some amounts you will just fingerprint if you don't want to provide one one of the options let's say that you want only either anonymous transactions or sorry either anonymous transactions or registered customers nothing between so you will just fill in fill in here is zero okay but let's put it back let's say that we we don't want aml so only these limits will be enabled so i'll leave this empty okay and i click on submit so now we have here our terminal we can see what's going on here right terminal didn't connect to the server yet so so er everything is empty but here you can see the events that happen on the server uh, on the on the atm bank no history what uh, what banknotes were inserted in which transactions happened there how much how much cash was inserted how much crypto was it converted to to which destination uh, the crypt cryptographic uh, cryptocurrency destination address the the amount of BTC went to and other things okay so we are good to go to connect uh, the first terminal other settings uh, other things here are not that interesting you can see the uh, registrations awaiting here rejected registered customers users you can create a new user uh, here are two roles either it can be administrator or just a customer yeah so that's about it let's connect the terminal